All right, we're given this box and it says it's made from a 20 by 40 piece of 10 by cutting a square from each corner. So each corner we're cutting out a square. We don't know this length, so we just call it X. All of these cutouts we're going to call X. And so we can come up with, uh, it says the area of the resulting base is 384 cubic centimeter, or I said cubic square centimeters. What is the length of the side sides of the squares? So we want to solve for this X. So think about it. If I'm looking at the length being 20, I have to subtract out two of those corners, right? And then I can look at the width, which is 40, but I also have to subtract out these two corners that folded up. And it says that this area is 384. All right, time to go to town. So I can multiply this stuff out 20 times 4, which is 800. 20 times negative 2x, which will be negative 40x. Then negative 2x times 40, which will be negative 80 x and then negative 2x times negative 2x would be a positive 4x squared equals this 384. Now I know I have a quadratic. How do I know I have a quadratic? Because the highest exponent is squared. So I would like to put this in that ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 format. And it looks like the first thing then I should do is subtract the 384 from both sides. So this will give me 416. Why not go ahead and combine these as negative 120x and then plus 4x squared and I have it equal to zero. And let's go ahead and still get it in this form, meaning let's put the square first and then my x term, and then finally the constant. I also see that all of these are divisible by 4. I mean, it's going to make it easier to factor. And so if I divide all of these by 4, I'm left with x squared minus 30x plus 104 equals 0. So this is what I'm trying to factor. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to factor this. Now, I will tell you right now, I pick up a calculator because I know easily x squared is x plus x. I also know this middle term is negative. This is positive so that these have to be a negative and a negative to get a negative in the middle and a negative times a negative to get 104. I had no idea what two factors of 104 is, so I just sit there with my calculator and I started dividing and I divided by 4 and I saw that 4 times 26 and oh when you add those that would give me this middle value. So even like using the AC method you still have to sit there and get all the factors. And so if I continue with this I'm going to get what x equals 4 or x equals 26. Now, you kind of have to logically think about this because if you plug in, let's say our first one, 20 minus, I don't know why I put a parenthesis there, ignore that. So for my length, if you plugged in a 4, I would get 12 for the length. And then for the width, if I plugged in a 4, I would get 32. Now you might say, okay, but what about this 26? Well, try it. Try plugging in 26 and I think you're going to get a negative value, which makes absolutely no logical sense, right? So what is this? 40 minus 2 times 26 and this is negative 12. So you know that can't work, so you ignore it and thus you know the length of the sides of the square would be x equals 4.